<laughs> What's going on? It's me, Jacob, and I'm here to do another 60 second review. And that's right, guys, I'm going to be doing Skater XL. Now, this isn't your typical skateboarding game. You know, if you're looking for something that's a triple A fun game to play, Tony Hawk just made a game. I just reviewed that. You can check out that playlist here. But otherwise, Skater XL, it's its own thing. This review I'm going to do, it might be a little controversial. Some people are probably thinking Skater XL is like a godsend. It's the best thing in the world. Thank you, everything. But some people are probably playing this game going, where is the game? That's what I was doing. So, like always, I'm going to give the game a 60 second review. I'm going to go over all the pros, all the cons, let you know exactly what to expect out of this, tell you exactly what I think. Like always, I'll finalize that review with a score, 1 through 10. 10 being amazing, you have to pick it up. I'll leave it linked down at the bottom. Or 1 being trash, don't even waste your time. And if you enjoy this content, you want to keep up with the 60 second reviews, I really do appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. Thank you guys so much. Definitely hit that subscribe button, leave a like or a comment in the video. Let me know if you played the game, if you played Tony Hawk, what kind of skateboarding games you're into. Let me know down below. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you so much. Now on to the review. So I'm going to start with the pros. This game has a really realistic touch to it. It feels like a real skateboarding game. It looks and feels real. Well, I wouldn't say looks because the graphics can be a little weird at times, but it does feel like a real skateboarding game, how each foot it's its own control stick. You actually have to ollie the board, kick flip it, spin it with the bumpers, and make your own trick. Each trick you do, it's going to be your own trick with your own little signature to it because you did it, and no one else can really remake your own trick. As, as for saying that, there's not that many combos in the game. There's not that many tricks in the game. You only have five skate parks. You have Easy Day High School, The Big Ramp, Downtown LA, California Skate Park, and West LA Courthouse. That's going to be it for the maps. You have three community maps. You know Those are ones that people update online. They add to the game, so that's cool. They're going to be updated later on. I hear there's going to be more maps, so that's a plus. That's going to be it for the pros. Now for the cons, there's a lot more cons than there are pros. There's no story mode. You can't really create a character. You can customize your character with different outfits, and they give you a lot of different brand names, but they don't give you that many options of the brands. You only have a couple different hoodies or things like that you can wear with each brand, and there's not that many customizable choices. There's no online feature, and the controls are just really hard. If you're not used to these kind of controls, you're going to have a hard time playing this game. It's not like a Tony Hawk game where you can press a few buttons and you make a huge combo. That still has a competitive aspect to it because everybody can make huge combos. So you just got to make you know a few thousand more points than your competitor. But in this game, it's not like that. It's If you can land one trick, you know they give you a video tool so you can record it and post it online so you can show somebody it's actually possible. They give you about 300 different challenges in the game, but they're all easy. You'll knock them out in a few hours. It's not really like a full, a full story. It feels like more of a tutorial. That's going to be it for the review. I don't really you know, have much more to say about the game. The game didn't really give me much more to talk about. There's nothing worthy really more to it. If you're looking for a skating simulator with realistic feel and touch to it, then this is the game for you. You know, Enjoy. I hope you do. It's probably going to be a 10 out of 10 in your book. But if you're looking for an, a fun game to play, you're just looking for games, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really suggest this game. I'm going to give it a score 1 through 10, 10 being amazing, 1 being trash. To be honest, this game's going to be a 5 out of 10. I wish I could have gave it a higher score. If I rated it on PC, on PC it's going to be a 6 out of 10 because of user mods. You can download different mods to make the game a little bit easier to control, a little bit smoother, wider boards, things like that. But on console, we're kind of less left in the dark. There's no mod community for the console on this yet. Maybe eventually they'll have something for the console where you can update it with mods. But right now, they don't. There's nothing you can do about that. You know, it's a little bit better on PC for that reason. But if you're looking to compare this game to Tony Hawk, because they both came out around the same time, that's going to be apples and oranges. The only thing I'm going to tell you about that is Tony Hawk is going to be the fun game. You can create your own character however you want, create your own skate park however you want. It's an online community, story mode, a lot of fun. This game is going to be the realistic approach. You play as one of four characters. You play in one of five different spots in LA. They're going to update it with different map options later. You know, we'll see about that. But it's just going to be a more realistic approach. You're not going to be doing like, tricks right out the gate. You're going to have to warm up, practice your tricks, 
do them over and over and over and over and you know, I, I just keep going on and that's just just the way I'm going to compare it one's going to be a fun game you can pick up do tricks right away the other game is going to be a little bit slower more methodical you got to plan things out pick different spots in LA you want to go to there's a lot of different spots in each map different rails different ramps different things you want to grind or try to do tricks on so there's a lot of different things you can explore but it's a lot harder but I really do appreciate you guys sticking here to the end of the video. I do appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. Thank you guys so much. Like like I said earlier, these are just my opinions on the game. If you have your own opinions, let me know down below. Maybe you thought Skater XL was amazing. Maybe you think Tony Hawk is amazing. I'm not really trying to compare the two. They're, they're really two different, you know, two different entities. It's like trying to compare Call of Duty and Fortnite. You know, you know, one's more realistic, the other one's more fun. You know, I don't really play either right now. I kind of gave up on uh, all those kind of shooters and battle royales. Maybe I'll get back into them later if I'm looking to do another review. You know, but I really do appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for sticking here to the end of the video. If you want to see that review I did for Tony Hawk, or if you want to see any other of my 60 second reviews, I'm going to leave that listed right here. You click on that playlist. You can see all the 60 second reviews I do. The video here underneath it is going to be one YouTube recommends you can watch. You know, it's probably going to be another great video. You know, so watch that one too. And thank you so much for the support. And I'll see you guys at the next video.